Good morning, everybody. The neck is back. Okay. No intro today. <laughs> Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them. Yep. Please. Wait a moment. What's the matter? Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. I will not fight with anyone. What do you need? I promise. Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Oh, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I won't. What do you think? I'll try not. Okay. <laughs> I try not to. Akasha pulses. The cup of flame rises. Everyone's here so early! But why isn't anybody talking? Every time we're in this room, every th no one talks. We all What's the matter? discuss things a bit. Oh. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. No. Are you ready? We can start now. Very well. After some discussion and debate, the group finally works out a deal to help sure together. This is gonna work? What's the plan? I gotta admit, it's bold. Telling me impressed. Am I? Am I? Around the end of Sumeru conquest? Hmm. It's worth a try. Are we going the point of discussion is Save to Nahito or something? Like Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. So yes, sir. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. I think. Cuts in? Maybe. You're finally done. Why did it take so long? I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Okay. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Oh, she's so cute. Talk well, to me nicely. Well, traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. I don't know. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. We'll make our move to the next... Nagar... What's my fault? Nagarba. Nagarba Day. Paimon's a little worried. How do you say that? To be honest. I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. Why, thank you, my lady. Oh, Candace gave us a compliment. I'm happy about Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that. She has stars I've said the on same her dress. Thing to everyone here today, as I First said to you when you arrived, safe. your safety is the most important thing. No. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. Thank you, Candice. Come here. Give me a kiss. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you for taking my advice. Okay. Good luck with everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Yeah, done. You gentle, beautiful lady, I want you. I hate them and Roman. What are they doing here? Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hate them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Everything is being yes, so. She did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Okay. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. I hope this is clear to you. I understand and accept. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? I do you not can never remember. have enough words of encouragement. In that case, 
Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I exactly. continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. Exactly. We all have our jobs to do after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Makes sense. <clears throat> Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. <laughs> But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. What are you talking about? You you are the best dendro DPS in this fucking game. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. God damn it. Who well, is talking is outside of my house? High risk occupation, and you are a scholar. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. This guy. Huh. I must still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. He just said he was built different. <laughs> <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, bye, man. <laughs> that reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Mm -hmm. You have a good memory. Of course. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. Are you going to say that the God Knowledge Capsule it is forbidden knowledge? I think. Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. Yeah, it but was the obvious. academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Okay. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. The withering. Elazar. And the sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? Another occurrence of forbidden knowledge pollution. But Paimon thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. Could it be that? <gasps> ah, Ermin you Soul. connected the dots. The cause of Ermin yeah. Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. Let me talk, Ahithum. Let me fucking talk, bruv. But, but if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! We must tell Nahida about this as soon as possible. Oh, wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? She said the key of saving Ermintone is contained within the remaining consciousness of the Greater Lord Rukadavada. You mean it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? Hmm. Yeah. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. Wait, so what, what was the plan? I thought the plan was saving Nahira from the beginning. Did we just go to destroy the Academia? To make sure we're still on track. I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Yeah, please. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Yeah, okay. Ah, they're here. Huh? What are they doing here? Are we gonna use them? I gave them some technical work to do. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? Mm hmm. How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Okay. Huh? Uh, more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Me? Scared? Look at me in the eyes. She's the little bitch. <laughs> That's an interesting response. 
Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Me? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? What I may... What? I may lack me in faith. <laughs> okay. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. So now, yes, sir. please get ready and put on this device. Okay. Uh... You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. Wait. <laughs> Are you going to, to know everything I think about everybody? I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's okay, best um, if you can do as I say. Because be ready, to them. achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. You might hmm. be shocked. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Okay. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. Some stirring words have been written down on the note. Although you don't quite understand this purpose of the Ruskarni, you still follow it's our hate done. Oh, oh, Fuck you, Holy first. <laughs> what a fascinating experience. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? I don't even know what I read. It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You, you may find it hard to believe, you? but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Ooh. Ooh. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh... A fool? A machine? A slave to orders. Mm -hmm. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Yeah, my bro, why are you looking at me like that in my soul? I'm talking about the Eremites. <laughs> hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Reboth and start preparing for the next step. Caravan Reboth? Small project? It's been a while we haven't been there. We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. Whose Akasha Terminal? Yours! I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? Huh? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. But it's still the best plan we have. As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> oh, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Okay, what's the fucking plan? Huh? Explain! Why are you guys arguing? Okay, what if, 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 he corrupts everybody in Sumeru with the knowledge, divine knowledge, forbidden knowledge? And then he uses the memory that we just recorded to make everybody fine. Is that what he wants to do? My friend, you're just in time. 
Yeah, Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment, so you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to All Haytham for suggestions. Oh. Had I known All Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. What? Look, you the already plan. know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. <sighs> Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. He's a child of the desert. Paimon. Yeah. This is also something you should know. Mm hmm Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Ah, uh, now I can understand why. Wait! How can we work with the guards? Exactly. We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. So you need a fucking My passport? My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something All Haytham told you. Am I right? Doesn't All Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me, there is no perfect plan. But this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. Well, fight? Fight you. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. He's a man of his word. Isn't that true, Sino? Hey, is there something we can do to help? I can help. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would say that. Mm -hmm. We can help some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Listen, we should respect the determination of Roman and his comrades. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. Roman, are you we going have no to die? fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendrowarkon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Exactly. Okay, <clears throat> you ought to have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. Of course, let's go. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Guards! General Mahamatra! To... to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. 
According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatrasina's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. Ooh. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. I am there are a superior. squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. God damn it. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Wait, I have a question. So, if... The, the Academia already knows that Sino is suspicious. Bro! Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. Okay. Sino, aren't you putting yourself in danger? You look so commanding when you're working. Because this is work. So, yes sir. You are much more friendly to us. Because I trust you. <laughs> Two simple answers. Paimon, I like can't it. can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff! Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia yeah. and are no longer their General Mahamatra? He's still the Even General if that Mahamatra guard doesn't Maha. know, their superiors might, right? We discussed this, remember? I do not remember anything! The caravan rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry, the guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matras still don't know why Sino has left which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Oh. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God Creation Plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert, actually. Considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. Do you even use an Akasha? We can't see it. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru village, all your actions and roots were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. Mm -hmm. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm. That's true. But why? Did they, pre did they predict everything that would happen before he meets me? Am I a variable into the equation? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. I am the variable. That's true. But yes. the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team, and I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated chaotic mess. 
any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Okay, that that's good. Oh, I'm so glad that this is settled. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. It isn't my fault, bro. Will do. Yeah. I'm confident that we can do this. Just remember to stay vigilant. So yes, sir. Sign on, yes, sign on. Footsteps! Shut General up. General Mahamatra! We were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Great Red Sand District. My name is Luxembargo. Hmm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. Beep! Construct! Beep! <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And, uh, is this the latest technology from the Academia? <laughs> Nice to meet you, Luxembourg. <laughs> Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. He's a fun boy. There's no need for flattery. Uh, yes, sir. He's Take your most elite fun platoon boy. and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> Map. Hurry, bring the map! A guard immediately brings off the map. Cycle, sign on, circle days, the location. We will engage Rahman's air mites Fuck and capture scary. all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These moments are Maybe always Maybe hanging awkward. around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. It feels pretty good. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. And now, we're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready. We will move out in two days. Over there! Our helpers have arrived already! Let's hurry over! Where's Simon? Wait a moment. Ah! Oh, it's you. You're my assistant, remember? Yes. Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. Huh. You're here early. It's to show how important we think <coughs> the operation is. You're here early. Since this is a big case for the academia. We are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. Mm -hmm. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Make preparations and be ready for combat! Cut in? Halt! Maybe. No, oh! So. What a warm welcome! What do you want? Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the Academia? I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh, nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. <sighs> it's over. Ah! We have subdued them. 
The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah, you pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh, I... <sighs> Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed <laughs> by the General Mahamatra. <laughs> yes, it took sir. so much time to understand, goddammit. He really did. The guards escorted a furious looking Rahman and the others away. <laughs> Mahamatra Sino. He got I carried will now away. Take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and I ask. I like that me. guy. Understood. Understood. You are dismissed. You are dismissed. There they go. Yeah. Let's talk elsewhere. Roman was starting to get. You find a safe place free of potential eavesdroppers and beginning conversation. God damn it, finally. This part of the plan went really well. Yes, things went perfectly. That's fantastic! And that punch you gave Roman there sure looked convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Thank you, Sino. Yeah! You're the reason why everything went so well. It's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I'm also worried about that. I have a <clears throat> very close relationship with Tainari. God damn it. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. Seno, you are making things hard for me. If we need help, Tainari is the best option. Ah. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. So yes, sir. Dia, we're here. <laughs> it's about time. Hello, Didn't beautiful. you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? And here you come rolling in late. Girl. The time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Seven drinks? Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Yep. Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the Doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. Yeah. We sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, he really gets by on the creeps. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis D.I. and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all hate them and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari, and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. Ah. Oh. Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. Huh? That's certainly true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Oh. Mm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply a discount. Uh, how much more do you want? I was not sure we can afford it. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? Oh, my heart. I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. 
My heart. Come on. It's melting. Smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. Oh, baby. There are many kinds baby of girl. smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI.